live. So we are live in um, Tipolog City. Good evening or good morning. Um, whatever is in your country or good afternoon. So we are live. You are all welcome guys in this live and um, if you are new to my channel, so I just um, introduced that our live stream will be um, every Sunday at 9pm Philippine time. So, um, but before we start guys, let me know if you guys can hear me or see me. Is it clear guys? Can you guys um, let me check my audio in my camera and yeah I know someone's there already let me know guys is if it's clear or can you guys hear me and hopefully our connections will better tonight. Let me wear my eyeglass, guys. Okay, Chef is in the house. Good morning to you or good afternoon. Where are you from? Thank you for joining tonight, uh, Mr. Chef. Sounds like um, you are very good in cooking chef <laughs> anyway thank you for joining thank you i appreciate okay all good thank you so much and also i'd like to invite all of you guys even bisaya or tagalog you are all welcome to join sa to ang live if you're bisaya i will speak bisaya also i will reply it and if you are tagalog you know also uh, speak in Tagalog, but most I will speak in English because uh, most of my viewers is from Westerners, so I try to speak in English as much as I can so that you guys will understand um, in this, you know, content or this anything that you would like to ask so that you will understand. And also, if you guys had questions or um, topic that you guys want to discuss in uh, next subject or next vlog um, you just put in comment or join in our lives chat okay thank you so much and that appreciate me a lot your time to join in our live even you guys are so busy and you still have a time to stopping by in my live so we are um, our live stream will be every Sunday so it will be 9 p.m. Philippine time okay Ricardo Smith is in the house good morning to you Ricardo how are you today Hope you had a great day. Thank you so much, Mr. Chef. I'm all good. I hope um, I'd like to hear also everyone to join our live chat. And also I'd like to welcome to all my viewers, my subscribers who, um, you know, um, subscribing me you know, even that, the, the watching all my videos, you know, um, thank you for that support, guys. Thank you so much for all your support. Okay. The video is clear and you look wonderful. Thank you so much, Ricardo.
I uh, heard only two people joining our live. I, w I would like to inviting you guys to join or even Bisaya or Tagalog kung gusto kayong may itanong or if you guys had questions, please join our live chat. And I'd like to hear also everyone is here para alam ko na nandyan kayo, na join, you know. Or pwede kayo i-shout out. Nakalive po tayo ngayon. So, kung sino mang manood ng ating live, so maririnig nila. So, kung meron kayong message na pwede ipaabot, then, yeah, you are all welcome. And also, thank you for giving a thumbs up. I appreciate a lot. Okay, um, Gerald, it's been a long, it's been a long time. Thank you for joining, Gerald. How are you today? Good morning to you. How are you doing? How was your uh, Sunday morning? Sunday morning in U.S. Yeah, and Sunday evening in Philippines. So, I hope na mag-join kayo guys at ang live. And mag-thumbs up sa ating, sa ating video. Oh, my, my Tagalog is broken. <laughs> Even also my English. <laughs> anyway, shout out sa aking mga friends dyan. Um, sa aking mga ka katrabaho before, noon at ngayon so, um, dito sa Lip Plaza Dipolog shout out ko kayo sa aking, sa aking mga ka-workmates okay. ang Tagalog ko ay balibaliktod na <laughs> so, kasi bisaya po tayo bisdak so, when, you, when, you, when you viewed my profile channel, you say it says bisdak, so that word bisdak is pure bisaya. Okay, bisdak, bisayan dako. That's a shortcut of bisdak. Okay, the meaning of that is um, you are pure bisaya. So that's what I put in my um, profile in my YouTube <laughs> bisdak. So you might wondering guys what's that meaning so yeah it is pure bisaya okay my day off to go a good start enjoying some coffee mm, coffee is life our day will complete when we had when we had uh oh morning coffee oh my god i'd like to move this Ah, sorry guys, so we are back. My apologize. Okay, we are back. Okay. Sorry for that interrupting. Because I just, when I read all your comments, so I just browsing, keeps browsing in my phone. So yeah. So hopefully one day, if we had, um, if we had a laptop, that would be nice that I can have, um, how do you call that, new apps, StreamYard apps. So hopefully if we had one day a laptop, we can, I can do on a StreamYard that, so that you guys will sh pop up all your comment. But for now, we're just using a normal live app in YouTube, okay? But because I'm just using my Okay, I hope nga mag-join ang lahat. <laughs> Mapabisaya man or Tagalog. 
So you are all welcome, guys. And also, thank you for giving a thumbs up. So, baka tulog na yung iba kasi pagod sa work. And also, um, yung iba naman is morning time sa kanila. So, maybe hindi pagising. <laughs> Sino ba yung gising dyan? So, um, if you hear it, guys, very peaceful in my background, in the neighbors, nobody's here. Because this um, next room next to me, it's they leave already last Sunday, uh, last week. So that's why it's peaceful now. And then next room is, I don't know where they're going. So every week, weekend, they don't have work. So they just go, go home in their cabin. So I am just alone here in this room. So next room, next room, it's, you know, this room is vacant now. Uh, room number six. All right, guys. Did you have a good day? Is your family doing well? Yes, I had a good day. Thank you, Ricardo. All is well. Um, thanks, God. So, like today, it's um, it's been working. So I have. Had I have work on Sunday, so yeah. And next, next month is Sunday day off, so that would be nice, you know, that um, I can do a live still, but you know, resting. It's different when you day off and you, you know, you have a lot of things and at night time, I can do my um live it's not like how it will be called they called haggard <laughs> it's not it's not like really ha look haggard <laughs> when you're working all day and then doing a live at night time but it's okay guys at least i can talk to you you know every sunday so even once a week so glad that um, I can able to do a live speak to my talk to my subscribers yeah Oi, Mars Nicole good evening CC kumusta dyan kumusta naman ka dyan sa Cebu kumusta ang live CC it's been like how many um, live that you missed it? <laughs> so I appreciate. I know busy kay kasi muhang career jan. Maybe na abut na imuhang a farm. <laughs> but imong a farm sis. Anyway, thank you so for join. Norman Spanish, why don't you live live with your mom and travel to work, save money? Okay, that's a good question, Mr. Norman Spanish. So the main reason also, um, 
I don't live with mom because it's very tough back and forth. If you watching on my previous video, I had um, talk about this main reason why I am here in the prologue not staying with mom. So the main reason number one is it's very tough for me to back and forth, you know. Um, in the morning, they have multi cab in the polog from Polanco to the polog, and at night time because I was finished at seven, so no more multi cab. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. <coughs> oh, no, no more multi cab to travel from uh, the polog to Polanco around seven. Okay, it's just um. Only five or five past, sometimes six. That's the last trip travel from the Polo to Polanco. Excuse me, guys. I have to pick the water. Oh my god. <coughs> Get the water, sorry. Yeah, that's the one reason that's why I don't uh, live with mom because the the transportation is very tough, you know, to so back and forth. And at night times, I had that before when I go uh, staying with my mom, it's very tough for me. Do you know what the habal habal at night time? just to drop me at mom's house it cost me that was before 80 pesos to 100 so that was before uh years years ago and much worse now because the gasoline is very you know getting high so i expect that really expensive to uh, uh cost habal habal at night time just to drop me at mom's house so and also the second is wait a minute the second is i we don't have internet connections we don't have my phone doesn't have signals at mom's house so it's very tough for me it's hard when especially doing my live i had on my youtube you know um if I if I upload a video, you know, if I had you know something work in my channel, so I could not. It's it's hard. We don't have um, good signals at mom's house. Okay, they have now in a small store next to our house. They have the we call uh, piece of Wi-Fi, but it is not really good, like the signal, you know, and. This is also the another uh, good topic that I put in my uh, headings, the pros and cons when you live in the province because expected that um, we don't have really signal. We don't have a signal. Your know, mobile phones, especially internet, we don't have that at house at our in our province. But they have uh, uh, they have the if you want if you want the signals or if you have like a better signals you can put cable you can put cable in your house but I don't know how much the cost for that but yeah that's the options you know if you want to live in a province you get a signal and you put that cable in your house so that would uh, you know so that you can pick up the good signal. Okay. I like the way you use that knife on the coconut in your last vlog. <laughs> yeah, it's not like it's not like being an expert uh, holding a knife, but uh, since I grew up in a province. So, you know, every time when we, um, you know how they call that, um, if you use that coconut, so we use that 
knife. It's just a cold knife. We use a machete or a big focus. We call it Tagalog. <laughs> it up. But yeah, how it's a big knife. That's what I use last on my previous vlog. So when I grew up in a province, so I was like, um, it's not expert, but I know how, you know, we handle that. <laughs> Rock Jamrock, hello, good morning to you. It's coffee time and watching Filipino vloggers live. <laughs> Thank you, Rock Jamrock, for joining. <clears throat> okay, lang kung ba pigihapon ta ang kinabuhi. <laughs> yes, dai. Ganun talaga ang life. Better boarding house, not stress more after work, you know, not easy for take home if raining. Yes, exactly. That's also a good um, reason, you know, why I stay here. Because it always, weather always change in Mindanao. So, suddenly it's like raining. It's not raining all the time, but when it's rainy season, God, I always... You know, it's hard. You can't um, go home straight, you know, with that raining at night time when you go home, you know. It's just the thing that, you know, I don't really like. When I go travel, go home back and forth when it's raining. So, yeah. It's pretty for you to have a boarding house like this, you know. After work, you can have relax. And, um... Also, when you have, for example, I have two hours break, so you yeah, are just, you know, have time to, you know, relax back in your boarding house, you know, it's just things, it's, you know, um, easier, you know, so yeah. electric fan it is so close to me okay that's better okay and uh, where is the other I hope everyone will join our live So wait guys, it is now feel um, humid in my room because today the weather was was um, so hot so it is so sunny today and expect that when I arrive in my uh, room it is so humid even I had my fan but uh, I feel humid So yeah, we put us is for uh, mangawas. <laughs> Say mangawas is. You mo ako ba lobo budots? So ang pagsayo budots sis. Ay so hot. Mag budots budots. If you're working, it's better to live in the city. The raining season is a big factor. Yes, um, that's the good reason as well.
Yeah, but um, it would be nice for me. I like a mom's house, you know, small province, living in a small province. I suggested that to live. But if you are working, you know, if you're working in a city like I had, so it's really hard, you know, to back and forth every day, you know. Um, most of the time you spend in work, so I think it's preferable you stay close in your work, you know. Like for example, this spot that I live in here, it's just very close to walk in from from here to my work, so that's a good thing. I must head off the church so I will catch the reply. <clears throat> okay, thank you so much, Chef, for joining. God bless you and stay safe. <coughs> oh my god, I don't know why I have a cough. Did you ever ride a scooter or motor motorcycle? You mean <clears throat> I'm driving? <laughs> yes, I know how, but I need a more practice. Yeah. Scooter, I, I drive scooter, but um, I need to practice, you know, need more practice. Yeah, because every time when I go home, mom's house, you know, <clears throat> most of the time, um, you ride in habal habal. We call it habal habal or motorbike, you know, riding. So, but sometimes it's chief when you go ride in a more vehicle, you know. So, motorcycle or scooter, yeah, I need more practice <laughs> but if you don't have motorcycle and you know because before i was just uh borrowed my cousin's motor motorcycle a uh, motorbike you know so just buy a motorbike and then that's i practicing but i need more practice you know still need more <laughs> but i am willing to um no how to drive it old friends hello good mo i <laughs> mayong gabi old friends so si old friends is kilala niya ako pero di ko alam kung sino ka hopefully magpakilala ka naman okay So you need to <clears throat> Okay, and I think everyone is here. So this is why I try to uh, put the topic that um, we discussed tonight about the pros and cons when you live in a small province because you might um, suggest for one day that you want to live in a province if you're Filipina. So um, that what uh, this is just an um, sharing and ideas guys because I grew up you know 
being a province girl. So, um, um, since you know I'm young, you know, I grow up. Growing up in the province is like um, you experience, you know, um, peaceful. You know, we don't have that um, socializing life. You know, it's different in a small province. Okay, so and also expect that when you live in a province, that um, um, very uh, big different in a city you know number one yes the signal it should be you have uh, more patience with that signals because we don't have that very in um, province okay and of course if you don't have like those things vehicles motorbikes or any vehicles you had so because it's been rare that we had transportation in a province okay that's very tough life that we encounter because we don't have like um you know like in manila they have jeepneys a lot of jeepneys multi-cup they have lots but in a small province it's just few they have that you know um we call it multi-cup yeah but especially multi cup they don't go from your barangay to so the city of city proper so like for example in my place in my mom's house you know it's very it's very tough because every time i go back to the polo i have to wait um double double in the road they will pass you know it's been rare that double double passing by in the town um going to the proper city of Bulanco. So those things it's been um I always been encountered, you know, the transportation, you know, the <clears throat> signal transportations and also the food because you don't want to go every day to the city just to buy fresh vegetable or food like that, you know, be shopping. So we just only had, like for example, for me, I just only had like a budget of a week for mom, you know, if I go there, you know, um, because it's, it's been, mm, it's not like, for example, here in the city, I can go walk in a market, I just go, not walking distance, but yeah, you can walk, you can jog and go into a market. It's just, it's easy, you know, it's close. But when you're in a province, you have to ride in a motorbike, in Habal Habal, just to buy a fish or vegetables, or you go in the market, wherever you buy. So you have to fare, so you know. So if every day you will go to the market, it's kosher. So it's why um, this is main reason why I just you know having like once a week grocery right something like that you know so it's not like um, very different guys you know hello hello Angayan Kama I guess wow sana all anyway thank you for the appreciate maybe mong kukamuha ni Isa Kalsado oi Okay, nakapal join na ba ang lahat? <laughs> All right, guys. Um, baka pwede kayong mag, uh, baka meron kayong itanong, guys. Pwede na kayong mag join o mag comment. Satu ang live. Okay. So I think na join lang yung iba. 
Pero hindi nag-address uh, ato ang light. <laughs> oh, nag-watch lang. Okay. Hello, Cedric from Sindangan. Kumusta? Wow, I'm glad that you are still in Sindangan. So, uh, really miss to go um, visit that place, Kaluan in Sindangan. It's very um, amazing place, you know. There are a lot of nice places to go visit in Sindangan. Oh. Volume seems low. Oh, really? I'm not sure. I'm gonna. Maybe my voice is too low. <laughs> Okay, if you own a scooter, would you use it to travel to your mom's house? Um, yes, I think I would uh, grab that traveling back and forth to mom's house if I had a motor motorbike. So if I had a motorbike, I'm gonna um, easier to go back and forth if you had your own motorbike. Doing a live stream, yes, it doesn't bother me because, you know, after work or example like this, you know, I can do a live and um, I'm not worrying with that. And uh, yeah, the most important thing is I'm not worrying with, you know, um, even going late at night time, at least you have a motorbike, you know. Just stop in here in the city doing a live, yeah, but only every Sunday. So it's not, it's not like hustle. It's not like hustle when you had your own motorbike, you know. So that would be nice. I think if you're not working, living in the province, might be okay. Yes, exactly. If I'm not working, I prefer to stay at mom's house. Yeah. Cedric, the roofing sh uh, just showed up for the home renovation. Hope it get finished soon. Mm. You're just doing a renovation in your house. Wow, that's um, some school, Mr. Cedric Edward. So, have you been exploring um, Rondipolog or the Pitan, Mr. Cedric Edward, or just busy doing things <laughs> in your house? So it is still very low volume or it's it's it okay. But let me know guys, maybe it's my uh, voice because I had a sweet voice, small <laughs> small voice, very low. Oh, sana ba yung iba hindi na tayo nag-join sa ating sa tuang live oh, sana sila good night sis ingat okay sis salamat sa paglantaw sa tuang live thank you so much good night also good night huwag yan ako mag-good night sa inyo sige <laughs> good night na sis god bless Been the polo boardwalk a few times in Dangan. It's now building a boardwalk also. Hmm, I see. Yeah, it seems like um, Sindangan is a uh, better place to live. 
as well, you know. Um, I like it. I mean, I never been like exploring around Sindangan, but when I go visit that place, it's like yeah, it's it's uh, best place to live as well, you know, Sindangan. What are your normal work hours? Okay, my normal work hours start from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. So that my, that's my working hours. So I had two hours lunch break. Going to look for property around the Polog after the home gets finished. Mm, okay, that sounds cool, Mr. Cedric Edward. Yeah, it's been like um, property for investment in the Polong. I think they have that. Have tried to uh, look around in the Polong. Maybe we can find a better place. Um, property, you know, that we might put the business on or you know anything it's a good place we don't have many motorcycles in the road here everyone here drives a car yeah it's different here in the polo we don't have much real car but most is motorbike so motorbike it's very affordable for it's not very affordable it's hard to have in your own motorbike because it's a lot of money but um that's what normally we use in um the polong in a province small province use is motorbike so look you on the boardwalk but haven't seen you on the Spice Girls yet. Huh? Did you see me in the boulevard? <laughs> you don't say hello because I don't know. Um, is that you, Mr. Cedric? You should say hi, Filipino vlogger. <laughs> because sometimes when I sit in the boulevard and yeah. People don't see me because I don't care walking people, so I just use in browsing in my phone. So if you guys see me when, uh, because most of the time I sit in the boulevard. So if you guys can see me, just say hello, Filipino vlogger, so that oh, it's you, my subscriber. <laughs> just say hello because I don't know you guys and the person. If it's that you. But when you say hello Filipino vloggers, well, it's easy to recognize me. Oh, that's you. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't really recognize Mr. Um, Cedric Edwards. Okay, is everyone asking questions? <laughs> Right, guys, because tomorrow I have work, I had an orientation for the um, new endorsement, so I think I need to sleep early tonight. But actually, it's not early, okay. And 10 minutes, I think I need to um, go and have a rest. Okay, John D is in the house. Good morning to you, John D. Yeah, the volume is too low to hear on my computer speaker. Oh no, I think it is my voice or my volume on my camera. I switch over 
to watching on my phone connected to Bluetooth speaker. Problem there is I can't access the chat the phone using both. Oh no. I think is it okay that I will using headphones, guys? I should have used these phones. Okay, let me know. I'm gonna try to use headphones, guys. Is it clear? Is it better, guys? Let me know, guys, if it's better to use headphones. But next time, I should use headphones. <laughs> Okay, I hope everyone will join to our live. If you had questions, is it better to use headphones or better nothing? <laughs> better nothing. Oh, so I should always use headphones. Motorcycle is too big for tiny Filipina. It's not motorcycle, it's scooter only for Filipina. For a tiny Filipina like me, scooter is good choice, <laughs> not motorbike. Get your rest, Mary Ann. I'll see you in next live. Okay, thank you so much, Ricardo. God bless you. Thank you for your time. God bless you and good night. So, um, is it better? Maybe I will use always now headphones so that clear and loud <laughs> or, you know, the Bluetooth, how do you call that? Bluetooth headphones. Okay. Thank you for giving a thumbs up. Yeah, it is good to hot. <clears throat> Very peaceful in this place in here. This is why I really like this, you know, place in here because, <clears throat> excuse me, peaceful, you know. Headphones, okay, that's good. Thank you. Darn Carlin, good morning. Thank you for joining. What would it cost to rent a small house or apartment in your city? Um, it's different. For example, in apartment just only one bedroom and i think it's not eight thousand or seven thousand like that that only for one bedroom but if you like like uh two bedrooms so i think 11 or 12 
you know, something like that, or 13,000 up. So it depends on the uh, type of the apartment. Yeah. Yes, and okay. How much does motorbike cost? What brand and model is popular? Um, every time when I see in the prologue, it's been popular now, like um, we call that Mio or. Uh, motor motorbike Mio one two five. So and the Honda Beat, you know that's popular motorbike. They have you know using here in uh Dipolog. Cost for that uh it's when you cash it's like you can get sixty five thousand pesos. 65 to 70,000 cash depends on the brand of the motorbike. Okay. And yeah. Working today, stopping by to say hello. Hello, Rich Belong. Thank you for stopping by. Even you're busy at work. Be careful, maybe your bo boss. <laughs> watching you <laughs> watching you watching Filipino vlogger <laughs> anyway thank you uh, Mr. Rich Belog darn Carlin you're all shy now hmm? am I shy? <laughs> I'm not a shy girl now so I am not a shy How are you keeping? Mm, how I am keeping? A one bedroom apartment here is 1,500 US. Wow, that's expensive. 80,000 pesos. It's like how many? Uh, triple in um price the cost in philippines wow is your studio apartment 3500 pesos a month yes it is 3500 pesos a month yeah but only in my room okay um my landlord giving me a discount you know 3500 but um next room and the other room and downstairs all of them is five thousand okay you uh the rent is now five thousand so lucky i got three thousand five hundred it's okay i'm the boss <laughs> okay that's a good thing if you're the boss <laughs> boss Boss is the boss. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. If you've seen also in my previous vlog, I had that. How does it look? This apartment, this my room it's like studio type this is a room very small room so if you guys picture out how, what it looks so i had that video in my previous video i had that so if you had time you um take back a look in my previous video
rock jam rock the high prices are the reason foreigners want to come there yes exactly it's very true i think that's the uh, main reason for maybe you guys retiring to live in philippines because you know here in philippines you might um you might how do you call cheap from you but as a filipina or locals it's you know it's not a cheap yeah hello white people power good morning to you So anyway, I think I need to go in five minutes, guys, because I have work tomorrow. I had a, I had my orientation for the newly endorsement. So yeah, I think I need to rest. My son's pay pays two thousand for a small studio in downtown. Miami. Ah, okay. So see how it's really big difference. So in the province, well, for example, um, this room that I had, I'm not quite sure how, how much. For example, if you're in Manila, this one I think it's five thousand. I think something like that, five or six thousand. You know. So yeah, well, if you're in the polo, it's just you can get you know three thousand five hundred. So expect also in your country, you know that's expensive. <sighs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So that is me tiring eyes. If I remove my eyeglass, it looks so tiring because you know, working in. But it's okay, guys. <laughs> I definitely have to go back to look at your videos. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Darn, for stopping by in our live. So, and also, thank you if you have time, take back a look on my previous video. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Darn. Uy, auntie, hapit na kong mahuman. Ganon ka ron pa mang ka. Katulgo na ko, auntie. Karon pa ka ni Gimaw. <laughs> well, palagi ka natulog. Okay, April Arsua is my office mate. <laughs> Shout out to you, Char. Auntie, hapit ako matulog. Tanawa ko mata kay katulog na. I love the rooms you're in. Yes, me too. I really like, you know, I don't need a big room big apartment you know because it's hard when you go cleaning but when you alone it's more like this it's okay you know it is cheaper to live in a province compared to the Palog. Mm -hmm. cheaper to live in a province what province um mr jim because um province is a massive province you know they have um mindanao visayas and also they have uh you know um what do you call this uh okay yeah 
the uh, province is a massive city a massive province you know, it's a massive city it's a massive province you know um they have Bohol, Cebu <clears throat> or you know Maguindanao they have very uh big province so American sneak everywhere expensive and unlivable look American cities. Mm, yeah. So I think it's you know I think for me in this world like um today nowadays I think for me it's not cheap at all you know because everything it's high you know so the cost of living it's getting high nowadays unlike before so you may guys expected that when you come to province you know average rent in manhattan is 4265 US dollar per month. Yeah. yeah, I think it's because um the city that you live in and um different, you know, province. Small and also in a small province. You know. No, you're fine, you don't look tired. Hi, <laughs> I am low tired, or maybe the eye bug. I was referring to where your mom sleeps. Ah, okay, yeah. Um, like mom's province, I would really like to, um, live. I suggested to live. I don't like to live, in, the city, okay, but um. If you had like motorbike or vehicle something whatever you had like so easier to come to the city to go grocery or you're gonna pick up something yeah it's good that way but when you live in the province if you don't have anything you don't have motorbike you don't have car you don't have even scooter it's hard when you go on the city you know because we are not in uh, big cities that they have a lot of jeepneys passing by in our road. In our road, no, we don't have that. So it's just you wait habal habal to pass in the road and then you go to the uh, proper in the municipality. So um, if everyone joins, so I'll give you in a minute before I go. Is anything you'd like to ask questions, guys? Yeah, I so appreciate for giving a thumbs up, guys. Okay, is everyone would like to ask before I go? Mm, yeah, it is 10 o'clock in the Philippines. Hold on till 11. It's, it's not 10. No, till 11. <laughs> yes, if you guys had questions, then yes, you can. But I try on because <laughs> I have work tomorrow.
God bless you and your family. Take care. Okay, thank you so much. Some Americans can afford to move to the Philippines. I think so. I'm not surely. Yeah, uh, I'd like to hear also about that opinion because as a Filipina, we don't know what's the reason why they could not afford to live in the province. I just asked, okay, what you ask uh, about the time? Okay, that's okay, darn. No worries. <laughs> so, if we have a lot of viewers and asking questions, uh, maybe, yeah, we can extend, but just depends on the viewers. So that um, it's like, it's like for me, um, we are really interesting to know or to learn about, you know, what they have Americans, you know. Um, it's like um, counterclockwise, you know, if you want to learn more about our things what they have in the province we filipina also would like to hear about what you had what the life what's the main reason you know those things in us or in in your country in abroad because we don't have that so same that thing that we really want to know you know those things Are there any jobs in your province? Um, it's not like a lot of job that uh, you can find in the in this province, especially in the Polog, because there are only um, it's not few, but they have malls, but it's not like really had in. Cebu or in Manila, you know, that they have a lot of establishment that you can apply, you know. You can imagine that, you know, um, a lot of people living and then you only have few establishment and people can apply work, find a job, you know. That's reason most of, you know, um, Filipino, Filipino, they go uh, fly to Manila to find work. You know, it's because, you know, maybe they could not find, a, you know, better job or, you know, and the uh, wages is different when you're in massive city and you can find easily job in that massive city than here in Dipolog because, you know, um, there are not of, there not a lot of, um, job that you can find in the prologue okay come on mary and stay on for a while yes <laughs> some americans are poorer than you uh, okay yeah it's like similar like um we had lifestyle living, you know. Yeah, I know that. I know um, they have also in that. It's like similar, like um, locals, you know. So, yes, you would like South Florida because the weather is warm and brown. We also have coconut trees wow it seems like philippines <laughs> and it's not cold oh, that's perfect <laughs> perfect place to live yeah and i think 
I'd like to go now, guys, because I need to have rest, you know, because I have work tomorrow. So, anyway, I'd like to thank everyone who will be joining our live chat, live streaming tonight. So, I so appreciate your time, you know. Thank you so much for joining. And hopefully, I will see you guys in my next live every Sunday at 9 p.m. Philippine time. God bless you all. Good night, everyone. Stay safe.